Hello, today we will talk about basics in programming in Java language. Well, the first thing I would like to tell you is that when we remove comments, we have got here something what is called white spaces. White spaces are enters, tabulators, uh, spaces, and well, they are not interpreted. As you can see, I can play it. Well, I can have everything in one line. Look, wow, we can do it even like that. Bam, bam and bam everything is in one line right it doesn't matter for the compiler it is a computer right it's just gonna interpret everything like it's you know formatted well but you should format everything pretty well and you should do it the way that i will do it in the future lessons okay if you follow how i format things every, every your code will be readable not only for you but for other people and this is very important to understand, right? So, for example, instead of writing A plus B, you can write A space plus space B. It's going to be easier to read. And, well, I'm talking about these Y spaces because, well, you need to know that we can write everything in one line because of things like, for example, semicolons, you have to remember that after every instruction, you have to end it with the semicolon. Every instruction is a command to your computer. What is a command? Well, a command, an instruction is just forcing your computer to do something. So when you write something like that, you say, hey, I want to include a package called basics, which is here. If we had more files here, it would mean that you could use all informations from other files like that inside here, right? So that's why we have got the package name basics here. And well, right now you know what is package, right? You can include other packages from other people uh, that were created by other people and you can use then things from there. And what are these things from there? Well, they are classes. Here is a class created automatically by our NetBeans, right? This is the main class it is public what is public wait well it doesn't matter it's just a modificator you just need to know that for now it uh, the main class has to be public and um, the main class which, which is uh, you know the class that has got the name like the file okay and well what is a class you might be wondering also a class is just an container a container for things like properties which are gonna describe something like for example a window we have got a window here right and this window has got what a width height and you can do things with that like for example close it and you can for example maximize it minimize it right you can do things with the window and things like that are gonna be described inside the class so you could create a class that we will call window and inside of it we would have properties like width like height and we could uh, create a function which is something like that that could allow you to close it or open it and as you can see here is a method uh, which is a class which is a function really so this is a similar name, right? Method, function, and it's called main. And the reason this function is here that it has to execute all instructions that are inside of it after invoking it. The main function is very special because it's gonna automatically be executed after clicking here play. So if we create an instruction here, so for example, system, which is a class somewhere, and when we get to something what is out, which means that we want to get out something from the system, right? And we want to print something, for example, a text, like for example, sample text, this thing after clicking play is gonna be printed here, as you can see. So th this, function is gonna execute other functions, other instructions. As you can see, we have got here a semicolon because this is an instruction, right? You have also probably noticed that here we have got a curl bracers. Curl bracers says, where, well, uh, you have to say where the class is starting, right? So the basic class uh, start from here and ends here, right? 
you don't use semicolon for it because well if you had semicolon here still the compiler wouldn't know well hey this semicolon is for 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 what for this class or maybe something else right so that's why we have got curly bracers and method also needs to know where it has to start and where it has to end so here we invoked so it means that we we use somebody code that is stored inside the print function and this print function is as you can see after clicking play showing something here and we're gonna create our own functions in future lessons you're gonna learn lots of functions from libraries that are gonna help you for example create a window like that one or you know calculate something hard so this is the reason of creating functions and that's how you use them this is the basic functions that we're gonna use in the future lessons keep in mind that this is a very very fast introduction and you don't need to worry if you don't understand that well what is that string here what is that uh, thing here like that what is void what is static what is public why you didn't tell me about this it doesn't matter for now you just need to know that this code is gonna be invoked first okay and later we are gonna I'm gonna introduce to you something like variables, then arrays, then we're gonna go to the functions, methods, and other things like that. Why do we have modificators like that? Uh, that what are exactly classes? How to create them? How to you know connect it, uh, many many classes to each other? Other things like that, right? For now, we need to know that main functions is a special function that is gonna be invoked as a first function and it's gonna invoke all possible instructions between this curly braces and this curly bracer, okay? And we're gonna learn the syntax of Java in future lessons. That's for it for now, thank you very much.